Hi Taurus, this is Just with your April 2020 general reading. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far, Taurus. Um, you know, this is looking a lot like, um, I think Capricorn's reading. Uh, so it could be something astrological going on. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tauruses. I hope you guys are enjoying your birthday. For some of you, you may have had plans um, to have like a party, a gathering at your home. Can't do that now. You may be, you know, going from several people to just a couple. So just a few people will be entertaining you at your home. And it's kind of good in one hand because you're saving money, but you some of you may have already paid for certain things and it's like, damn it, I've lost money. Be careful. If you're using this time to focus on home projects, that sort of thing, because you may have, you know, sometimes you are impulse buy or impulse shop. So there could be a lot of impulse buying and impulse shopping and you've racked up a bunch of stuff and you're looking back and like, damn it, I don't need half of this stuff or what am I now? What am I going to do? Um, so a project of some sort, we at home, um, otherwise, but it looks more prominent for home could be very prom uh, problematic at this time. And you may look around and feel like now you're house poor, right? Because all your money is going into this home. It could also be to fight for your home or to get things taken care of. So home life looks a little bit tricky, but it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Also be mindful. And I've been telling every sign this, and this is why it leads me to believe that there's something astrological that could be happening where, um, I mean, yes, we're all focusing on money right now because we're in the sign of Taurus. So of course we are. But that being said, Saturn is going to be swearing to the sun and Uranus. So it just depends on where that's at in your chart. But that being said, there's going to be issues probably with finances and that sort of thing. So just be careful with your money. Some of you may feel bogged down with work and career as well. Um, you're putting too much time, energy, and effort. You may not be feeling like you're getting your just due. Some of you could be in one of these essential roles. And so everyone's getting handouts and you're not getting a handout, even though, you know, you're an essential employee and you're putting in a hell of a lot of time, energy, and effort. You may feel like you really don't have a say. You are you could be stuck in a home situation, work situation. It's just like, damn, I really, you know, I can't go anywhere right now. I'm between a rock and a hard place is what it looks like to me. And you don't feel like you really have much say in what's going on in your life. And it's kind of making you a little bit more internally frustrated. Like you may not be telling a lot of people about it, but you're kind of pissed and you're frustrated. And it's like you have a lot to deal with. But it's in other, but other people has to dictate what you, you know, how you have to do it and what you have to do. And, you know, but it's not your control, if that makes any sense. Um, be careful with your vices. You may be eating, shopping, spending, doing a lot of those things just to fill the void, to make you happy in some kind of way. And the money is just like dwindling, dwindling, dwindling. And this weekend, you're going to realize like, damn it, you're going to feel like you're in a poor house um, and there's real, no one to turn to. You are the person that people usually go to. And so who do you have to turn to? And you may be stuck. Like, where do I go from here? And it will create frustrations, um, especially if there's other people in your home and people are not pulling their weight. If there's other people at your job and people are not pulling their weight. The only place that I do feel like there's a bit of refuge here is at work. Some of you could be eventually moving into a different department, trying to move this move from this job. There's going to be a lot of commu communications, but also offers coming in possibly with work or just a lot of people needing you at this time when it comes to work as well. So if you've worked in a particular location, you may be moving that. Some of you may have, uh, work remotely and for good. Some of you may be moving, and like I said, changing locations is what it looks like to me. And it's kind of new and fresh what's going on at the workplace, even if it's a job you've had forever, something new that's happening around work. Um, but it's not something that you can really enjoy, you know, because you you have all this other stuff going on that, you know, it's kind of problematic and a bit of a headache. So there definitely can be issues and strain and arguments and petty little fights with people that you're kind of not wanting to deal with it also could be that it's very competitive out there and anything that you're involved in you got your hands in um as well I, and especially like i said if it's in this home situation be careful with contractors anyone that you're doing business with particularly with home and other areas possibly not 
career, but home life, that sort of thing, it definitely, you may look back and say, I wasted money dealing with these people, or now I'm in a pickle and I'm in some shit I can't get myself out of because I've signed this contract, I've, you know, whatever. So I'm kind of seeing it being very difficult to get out of something. Um, and it's going to cost money, but no worries because you will find that money is going to come to you next week. Probably is, next week, next week will probably be a much better week for you when it comes to your finances and being more clear and on where you're going forward. This may just be the last bit of, I mean, last bit of right energy is relative. So come and go, but you may feel like you're in a better place next week. Right now is still the remnants of feeling like out of sorts and out of your element of having to deal with all this shit. And then there's a lot of people, and I don't mean to, don't mean to curse, you know, I don't typically curse on my, on my videos, but it's kind of that type of frustration is what I'm feeling. And also never having someone that you can count on, you know, that, and that's problematic for you. Um, some of you may even be putting on something for your own birthday or something like that. And it's like, you're the person that had to fit the bill. Everything comes from you. And there is frustration around that, you know, um, you do everything, but, but people make you feel like you're not doing enough. So there's these little things that you're looking and I think your birthday time is for you, Taurus is born this, this coming, this week that just came in the weekend. There's, it's a very somber, sober reality you're having. And you may be playing that out for the next 12 months because that's your solar return. So this is going to be a very eye-opening time for some of you Tauruses. It's karmic. It has to happen. But that's what it is. Now let's get into your love life. Singles. Well, you do have several admirers. Several. But here's the problem, Taurus. Um, so when are you going to concede? When are you going to... You know, you're a little bit too strong. You're a little too strong. A little Like I... I was telling Capricorn, you know, you can't want love, but then not be, can you know, compromising and, and not be malleable where you, you can't bend and ebb and flow. So some of you are not bending, you're not ebbing, you're not flowing. And you may have someone who's really like into you, who's very emotionally available, vulnerable, tentative, compassionate, but you're very strong. Even if you're a Taurus woman, you're very like overpowering, you know, set in your ways. It's your way or absolutely no way. And that's kind of it. So that could be kind of challenging. Um, some of you may also be getting more comfortable with your sexuality. So you may be saying, you know, th I, this is what I am. I'm I'm into same sex. Or it may, there may, may be a reality that someone's into same sex is what I see here as well. That could be coming out. And so for you tourist singles, although there's opportunity here, I don't see it going anywhere simply because you may have, like I said, other things going on in your life that's more pressing and trying to fiddle daddle with uh, some type of relationship right now. It's not on the menu for you right now. It's just not something that you're going to make your focus. So you will be trying to take care of the more pressing issues in your life. But it may be flattering like, oh, it's cute. <laughs> yeah, right. You take care. I have like I have other things going on. <laughs> So it could be that type of thing. Someone also could be trying to get back into your good graces. That's going to be problematic. You may feel like you're just, you know what? You're not stable. Your problem is not going to become my problem. It's become my problem long enough. It's and that's it's that as well for you Taurus singles. Um, and again, it's just the process with this person. So if you've had someone where you're trying to like shed them like dead skin, it's a process, you know? Um, it's not going to all happen overnight for some of you, you may think, yeah, I'm done. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I have exit stage left. I'm done with this person. They're going to come back. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a little while. It may not be until July where you could say, oh, okay, that's behind me. Taurus uh, couples, you don't know where you want to go with this, huh? Hmm. You want to drop it? You may still want to go have a go at it. There may be a, another person that's, that's an option here. Someone may have gotten caught. Uh, with other people and it could be in the home like you know I mean it has to be to some of you because you have to stay home and you could have caught someone doing something and it's like it's almost like now what the hell do I do now what do I do with you you know <laughs> what do I do some of, some of you Tauruses you're cheating you're juggling people and you have a very loyal mate for those of you Tauruses who are cheating very loyal mate and they're going to find out if they haven't already 
A lot of accusations, a lot of um, investigation, a lot of questions being spouted off. And it's like now someone has screwed up the whole relationship and now put you to in a deficit where there's lack of trust, where someone feels bogged down by the connection and the commitment. Um, you know, there could also be money problems and money woes here that's just tearing the two of you kind of making you more and more separated. I'm not going to say tearing you apart, but it's making the two of you more and more separated. And definitely outside parties is a danger to your connection as well. There's a lot of trying to figure out where do we go from here. A lot. And someone not feeling like they have control over the situation and is this is as if they've been really put in a bad position because it's the kind of thing where it's like, well, I don't really want to give up all that I've invested, but I don't feel like this is a healthy environment for me anymore. Someone literally could be in jail because I'm getting like the eight of eight of swords two and three times. Um, so there could be that and to get this person out to to um, fight for them and that sort of thing is going to cost a gang of money and so there's that like do I do I run for cover what the hell you know now I have to tap into my savings I have to put my house up so whatever this is it definitely for all of you obviously it'd be different but it definitely has put this relationship in a huge deficit huge deficit and you have an op. somebody you know here has an opportunity to literally cut the string and just go and don't look back Somebody certainly have an opportunity to do that and considering it, considering it definitely next week is going to be a heavy consideration. It's already been, but it's really going to be a heavy, heavier conversation or at least with oneself of like, should I just get the hell out of here? Should I just leave? Because the bickering will start to fester over the weekend. You know, they can't seem to even come to a peaceful resolve, possibly on just uh, just about everything. Um, and so somebody is really looking at, is it worth it? You know, that's, that's the thing. Is it worth it? Well, in the extended, we're going to look deeper at this person. How do they feel? What do they want to tell you down inside? How do they see you? What do they want from you? What secrets are they keeping? What do they challenge most about you? What will be their actions now? We're going to look at the relationship now and we're going to see the outcome of this relationship. We're also going to look at tourist singles, see what's coming up for you guys the months to come when it comes to love. And we're also going to look at Aries to Pisces. How do they feel? Pull love message cards so that you can see what love message they want to send you. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box below. If you'd like to set something up personal, click the link to my website to set something up for yourself. If you would like to share, do so in the comment section below. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back. Yes, me very soon with another one. Take care my lovely, lovely Tauruses. And again, happy birthday.